Hi, welcome again, and in this lecture, I'll show you how to add another layer to this map. Currently, we have two layers. We have the base map, which are map tiles by map box, you can see here. And the data are served by OpenStreetMap. And you also have your custom layer as well, which is a layer containing circle markers. So in, in GIS, Geographic Information Systems, these are referred to, to as layers. Now I'd like to add a third layer to my map, and uh, that will be a polygon layer. So this current layer with markers, uh, this can be referred to as a point layer. You also have line layers and polygon layers. Um, so with points, points are better to represent locations, and you have lines, lines are best for representing geographical features which resemble lines, such as roads, and the reverse. And then we have polygons. Polygons are best to represent areas. So for instance, uh, in this uh, lecture, what I'll show you is how to add a layer, a polygon layer that represents world population uh, by country. Uh, so countries are represented as areas. And what we're going to do is each of the countries will have a specific color which will indicate the population of that country. So points for locations, lines for lines, and polygons for areas. Now, of course, you need to have some data to create a polygon layer. You know, just like as we did with markers, we had some uh, data in CSV in, in text format. And then we use those data, we open them with pandas, and then we iterated through those lines of the data and we added the markers to the map now for polygons the way to add polygons via volume is by using the volume.geojson method so basically let me make some space here the way this would work is you want to add to feature group the variable here you want to add a child which will be a volume.geojson object. So this is the method with brackets here that creates a geojson object. And for geojson data, we will use this world.json file. You can find this attached in this lecture. And uh, let me explain what this is. But careful, don't open it on in Atom because if your computer is a bit slow, yeah, your atom may crash. So try to open it with a lighter editor, such as Notepad, for instance, or Cat on on uh, Linux terminal or Mac. Anyway, this is the JSON file. Uh, you can refer to it as JSON or GeoJSON. Actually, GeoJSON is a special case of JSON. Basically, the format is always the same. It starts with curly brackets. And basically, it contains a string which is like a Python dictionary with keys and values. Keys, key, and value. Where this curly bracket ends, somewhere here, I, I believe, if I'm not wrong. No, this one ends in here. And then you have the other key, geometry. So what is geometry? Well, the type of geometry is multi-polygon. So basically you have these kind of attributes that, that describe the data. Type multi-polygon co coordinates. So this is now starting to describe the features the polygons. So these are the, the coordinates of the first polygon that will be displayed on the map. Uh, let's say this is one specific country. And that's uh, that's that's Antigua and Barbuda. Yep. A small country, but anyway. And these are the coordinates that will determine the location of that polygon in your map. So uh, basically, per volume will read all this information and it will decide where to put the polygons and then you can also use other attributes of this such as 
population which is here yeah you will use this population value to put a color for that population and so on and so forth you have all the countries of the world in this JSON file so spend a few minutes looking at this file to understand its structure and in the next lecture I'll go ahead and load the JSON file into Python and display the polygon layer. See you there.